I'm Eric Bain, Curator of Aviation with Mike Massimino, former NASA astronaut and Senior Advisor of Space Programs at the Intrepid Museum. We're here today to give you a behind the scenes tour of the museum's Hubble at 25 exhibition. Mike and I are proud to be co-curators of the exhibition, which celebrates 25 years of the Hubble Space Telescope. Not only does this exhibition showcase the history, artifacts, and spectacular images of Hubble, but also includes some of Mike's personal experiences working on two Hubble repair missions. Let's go check it out. So working in space is not easy, and it takes a lot of practice. You have to practice many hours on the ground and into yep. that pool down in Houston. But not everything goes as planned sometimes, and we have a little story here for you to tell us. This handrail helped handle the instrument when it was installed, the Space Telescope Imaging Spectrograph. And the power supply that we needed to replace was hidden behind an access panel. And we did not think this was going to be a problem at all. We had all these plans if one of the screws didn't come out, if something got stuck, if we stripped the screws, but we never thought much about these big screws on the hand drill, because they always came off easily. There was two at the top, two at the bottom. Two at the top came out no problem. The one on the bottom left came out no problem. The one on the bottom right, you know, I'm thinking no problem, I'm pulling the, the, pulling the trigger on the power tool, and all of a sudden I realize this thing's not, you know, I'm getting red lights and the things, the tool's spinning, but nothing's coming out. I could see that the top of the screw was stripped. I had stripped it with this power tool. We didn't have a backup plan on how to get that screw out. I mean, there was no way we were going to get that handrail off the way it was. The whole team went into action, and we were trying all kinds of things. I went and got different, uh, different drill bits. Uh, we thought about what, other, what else could we remove to get the handrail off, and none of it was going to work. And then after about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes or so, they came up with a solution that I knew would work. Some really smart engineer uh, had the idea to see if Mike could just rip it off. And they pulled on this thing and they measured the force that it would take, and it was 60 pounds of force. If you have 60 pounds of force, I go, absolutely, man, I got a lot more than that, let's go get it. And I very carefully taped the bottom of the, of the handrail because we were concerned about metal from the broken screw and partly concerned that, that something can come and get me, could uh, damage my suit. What I was more concerned about was little debris getting scattered inside of the telescope, which would be terrible. We got to go and, and I gave it a couple yanks to yield it and one good wang and it broke off. And I put it in this disposal bag and I never saw this thing again until now. And this is the actual handrail that I yanked off of the Hubble Space Telescope. So we had to break the telescope to fix it. Thanks for joining us on this behind the scenes tour of Hubble at 25. We hope you'll visit us soon here at the Intrepid Museum and check out this exhibition in person. And while you're looking at the exhibition, you can look up and see this magnificent space shuttle.